Welcome to the second day in La Palma, guys. Today we're going down south. We're going to see a volcano and we're going to see very cool different things. So let's go together. Hey guys, we just arrived and at the entrance you gotta pay the ticket to, to get in. So we're now going to start the tour. I just got out of the car and it's quite chilly, I would say. So I got a um, long sleeve uh, shirt anyway. Well, let's start the tour, guys. I'm excited. Let's go and see the volcano and the, uh, the visitor centers and all of that. So that's where we got in, guys. Parking lot. And here we are. Ooh, let's start a tour. So guys, we are in the visiting center and here you can read information about volcanoes and the um, Canary Islands and all of that. It's very cool. You can read a lot, so it's very, very interesting. So as you can see, there are different types of volcanic rocks and we can see some examples here. So you got the names and the different types. <laughs> okay guys look at that we got the earthquake simulator i think if you go there it's gonna start moving let's try We have the astronomical observatory here. This is the landscape that we have around. Very beautiful, peaceful and quiet. As you can see we are in Mirador Astronomical Volcan de San Antonio or Astronomical Viewpoint. Guys, I was reading this panel because you can see there's that rock, which is that one, and those three ones, as you can see, one, two, and three, uh, in order to, to measure time. And if you stand there in the afternoon, depending on what season it is, you can see how the light uh, moves, let's say, <laughs> between these three points. And in here we have, this is the solstice of winter so that would be spanish the equinox and the solstice of spring and i guess that is for the different seasons so uh, winter spring summer and autumn so how the light moves so it would be very cool actually right to see that in the afternoon now guys we're gonna start walking there around the volcano Guys, I think that's it. Three, two, one. That is Volcano of San Antonio, guys. So as you can see, there are like many trees, so it's not been active for many years, I would say. Wow. Let's continue the trail ahead. I don't know if you can get a very good idea of the place with the camera. It's really cool. From here, I, it looks like a volcano, but from the camera, I guess maybe not that much. I don't know. You let me know in the comments. So the path, guys, you can see is basically around it. So we're going to go there as much as we can. I don't think we can go all over there, maybe up to there, but, you know, we'll, we'll follow the trail ahead. It is truly beautiful, you can enjoy amazing views both of the volcano but also uh, about the coast and it's becoming a bit chilly actually, you know, I should have put something else on but not too much that, you know, I'm freezing so make sure you got you get something with you, it's, you know, not even 11 and it's quite chilly already so, You've been warned 
I was playing with the rocks, especially with these ones, which are very light, and listen to the sound. Very interesting. I guess a better view of the volcano. We were there before. And this is where we have from from this side. Guys, we made it to the last bit. Monumento Natura Volcana de Tenegra. So this is the view that we have around. And again we got the volcano here. Lovely short tour guys, uh, as you could see it's very very quick, there is just the volcano to see and the information at the distance center, so we're now going to go back to the car and continue. So the panel says that in front of us we have Janos Negros and that's where they cultivate a specific type of grape, Malvasia, which is used to produce the Malvasia wine. So, got some wine people if you like it. <laughs> now guys, it's time to go down south to the coast. Alright guys, this is where we are, we got the lighthouses, as you can see, we're going to see La Salina de Fuencaliente, which is basically, as you can see, salt pans built in 1967. We're gonna follow a self-guided route, so it's gonna be easy, let's go that way and see the salt pans. There they are, by the way, guys, so let's get closer. That they are. So here we are, guys, and I've just read here there is, you know, there is a tour which is about 30 minutes, and there are um, seven stations where we can stop along the way. So let's go and have a look. Guys, this is salt. Look at that. I was walking and I came across this mountain of salt. Look at that. Like <laughs> Wow, look at look at that. Anyway, let's continue. By the way, this is what we have behind us. That's where we were before the black mountain and it's a bit cloudy as you can see but it's still beautiful in case you're wondering what that is that kind of pool let's see here if you're looking at an operation an operation pool where well, the first steps are taken in concentrating the salt heating the water by sun and dry wind concentrates the salt until the concentration is over 250 grams per liter interesting right and we go another panel that says the Harvesting salt is a spring summer activity that depends on the sun and the wind. And we can see other salinas here in front of us. We are now going back to the car and continue the tour. In 700 meters, bear right onto loop 207. We made 
it to the last destination of the day guys we're going to hike this is the last hike for this trip so let's go together and enjoy nature here we are people guys we're going up there somewhere i am at the visitor center guys there are two routes one more difficult than the other but it should be quicker and we're going to do that one we're going to go out to a viewpoint there's a, an altitude of 400 meters let's try it why not here we are let's go for it that's where we're going guys mirador de la barandas the first one 1.3 kilometers going up let's go guys there are gonna be a lot of steps but we're gonna make it for the views leave a, a like just because of that please <laughs> I do get tired when I go hiking, especially when I do it in the afternoon and I've been driving all day so that's not gonna stop us because the views are always worth it so keep your eyes on the prize. Alright guys, we made it to the viewpoint. Let's go and have a look at the waterfall, shall we? Just two minutes we go to the waterfall. Look at that. How beautiful guys! I don't know if you can hear me well. It's not raining. It's just a waterfall up there. Okay guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to go back now, you know the way. I'll leave the car at the airport and I'll go back to my accommodation to explore the city center of Santa Cruz. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to 